Welcome to NASDAQ Trade Talks. I'm Jill Malandrino, Global Market Reporter at NASDAQ, back with our annual Singapore FinTech Festival coverage, organized by the Monetary Authority of Singapore, the Singapore FinTech Fest is on sixth edition. We're proud to be a media partner for the fourth year in a row. Joining me for the segment is Ong Jo Mo. He's the founder and CEO of 2C2P, a global B2B payments provider that works with global enterprises operating in emerging markets to accept payments across online, mobile, and offline channels. Ong, it's great to have you with us. Welcome to Trade Talks. Thank you for having me. And based on the IDC report 2C2P just published, Southeast Asia is forecast to become a major digital powerhouse by 2025. Why is that? Give us a high level overview of the findings. Absolutely. We are looking at, you know, big numbers. So the outlook for digital payment is extremely strong in Southeast Asia. It is going to be growing more than 160%, especially for the e-commerce spending by 2025. And there are three reasons for this particular growth. The first obviously is changing customer behavior. So as COVID-19 and pandemic continues on, before that e-commerce is already growing and in the prolonged extension of COVID-19, customers are now adopting e-commerce platform much faster. So last year alone, we see 62% increase. And the second one we see is addition of all the alternative payment methods APMs in shorts offered by various enterprises across the region. That also fueled the growth. Last but not least, regulators are coming up with their own regulatory framework and standards, and that is also helping us with the growth. These three major factors are truly fueling the growth of Southeast Asia. So what opportunities does this give to merchants as well as some of the challenges? I believe it is the biggest opportunity a golden opportunity for the merchant for them to tap into Southeast Asia economy. Now regional and global merchant can sell their products and services to this region and the region is ready to you know, purchase all these uh, all, all these products and services they are going to sell. And next year and within three, four years, we are talking about 180 million new users adding to this particular region. So that's the exciting time for the merchant to sell into this region. The challenge I would say is that there are a lot more payment options customers are using today and different regulators now have different regulations set. So merchant needs to make sure in order for them to fully address the need of the market, they got to accept all the payment options the region has to offer. Just accepting credit card alone may not be sufficient. So they can start offering BNPL, mobile wallet payment, mobile banking payments. All these payment options are very important. With that, they can improve their conversion rate. At the same time, they can cast their net wider to every corner of Southeast Asia to sell their foreign services. And how is a company like 2C2P capturing these opportunities? So what we do is we connect to every single payment option across the region. We, now, we have now connected to over 250 payment options and at the same time complying with the lo local regulatory and local laws to get the license across the region. So with that, we can offer all these payment options to our merchants and customers who want to sell to Southeast Asia. With that, they can accept and pay to their partners securely, conveniently, under the guidance of all the regula regulators. All right, um, we appreciate the insight. Thanks for joining us on Trade Talks. I'm Jill Malandrino, Global Markets Reporter at NASDAQ. Thank you so much.